Hey guys, so quick uh, we note before we get into this video, I'm sorry but the audio, uh, my audio in particular is appalling in this video, it's really bad, um, it'll be fixed for the next video but like just to let you guys know it's really bad and this story today is, um, to be honest with you, it's not, it's a bit vile, it's not a very cheery story, it's um I don't really want to spoil it for you, but it's not what we normally do. But I thought it was important to do. So, like, I hope you guys enjoy this, and let's get into the video. To catch a predator. D&D &D &D. edition. <laughs> <laughs> I used to be part of a Westmarch Discord D&D &D server months ago. This is not our Westmarch server, just letting... I, I, I know, you know, this is so good. I, I love this because actually quite a few of our... From uh, our Westmarch server are turned up on RPG horror stories. Yeah, so, uh, this is not... Us. This is not us for once, which is actually really cool. Yeah. I'm very happy with that. As a reference, Westmarch servers are essentially servers that focus on one shots for one particular setting. Not our one. Our one no, focuses our on one's... the big scheme of yeah. the story, right? Our one's actually cool. Okay, if you want to join, <laughs> check links down below. You need to get a character handed in before you can join. Just saying, just saying. <laughs> Allowing the characters the player plays to progress through different one shots and different DMs. Although the accessibility is a huge plus allowing for newbies and veterans alike to hang out, being able to adjust for a tight schedule easy. This can make way for plenty of bad people to leech on and not let go. This was one of these times, with a case of hard, a 22-year-old male, name replaced for anonymity, of course. Don't worry, the title will make sense later on. Trigger warning for paedophilia, obviously. Grooming, mentions of rape, and general creepiness you'd find from any nice guy on the internet. When he first came into the server, it didn't take long to give off a negative impression, even if he seemed nice at the start. He played an assassin rogue wood elf named Fleur... 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 Like, it doesn't matter. What matters is he happened to be playing a rogue, which, okay. if you guys don't know, equals okay. that guy, Okay with some convoluted backstory involving him being drafted as a soldier into war when he was a child. Something happened, I believe something involving a cult, that led him to his sister being trapped in some kind of amulet. He had this odd magical version of dissociative identity disorder. I couldn't get that all out in one take, so there we go. <laughs> like, that's what you get, alright? Where he would switch to this character called White whenever he got pissed off going completely feral and threatening to kill people. Having even attacked my character when he was taken to the temple he resided in for help. The first time he switched was during roleplay in between games, when a dry tavern owner told him off for not respecting other people's boundaries, alongside his need to be mothered by the people around him. Now, I didn't get the second part, but the first part was very apparent when I scrolled upward, when he and his raven was invading the personal space of her and her girlfriend. This was the first red flag, especially when he made extremely passive-aggressive, out-of-character comments about her and me. An innocent bystander who just wanted a bento box from the kitchen. However, I gave him the benefit of the doubt, as sometimes I wind up taking in-character things personal time. It's hard though sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes like you know I I do that like you know sometimes you forget your like, role playing. Yeah, you yeah. know sometimes you do forget and like you know you can't get carried away. Yeah. Like, you know. I think it depends on all on how hot headed you are. It, it, it you know it's not as bad when it's in Normal. person. If you're in person, you can kind yeah. of understand it better. Because but, you can read people's faces. Yeah. Whenever it's online. But whenever it's online, and I'm going to assume this is on the Discord server. Oh, it says Discord uh, server. Yeah. You know, it it can be difficult, and you don't know the person. So you yeah. don't know if they're taking the piss or, or it's like whatever. Yeah. You know, and you you know yeah. the best you've got is oh, do you want some emojis? Yeah. <laughs> you know, that's the only yeah. way you can really tell emotion a lot of the time. I thought this was the case. And technically, I was true. But oh boy, things got worse from there. A server was created about his shenanigans. Nice. Constantly sharing memes about him and what he did. There are so many stories I could tell. But this story will go on for hours if I talked about them. Hey guys, so sorry to interrupt the video, but I just want to tell you to go ahead and check us out on Spotify. You can find all of our new videos normally a day early on Spotify and it's a great way to help us out. It just makes sense at this point expanding outside of YouTube since it's a bit of a slowly sinking ship. Yeah, it yeah. is. Also, you should check us out on Discord, Instagram, Twitter and join the Facebook group, link below. It really helps us out a lot being able to expand outside of YouTube. 
So go ahead and join us on whatever social media platform you use. However, let's get back into the video. As time went on, Hard started to get suspicious. After his in-character girlfriend had to leave the server, Fleur got a crush on literally every girl he met. <sighs> Why? Why is that always the case? Why do they always do? Why? Why? Why do they? Why? Why? To, why, why the sex pest? Why you've got to be a sex pest? You know. He made really creepy, out of character comments regarding other people's female characters, including but not limited to calling one of my friends NPCs the town's next public urinal <laughs> for having Jesus. an active sex life. Jesus Christ, that's that's brutal. And even made a second character. A female dampfer named Nicolette. As Nicolette, he constantly stated in character about how she was a girl and a vampire. To the point of where that was just the extent of her personality. Wait, are, is it not half vampire? A vampire and a girl. No, but like a dampfer is it's a... a half, I know. Yeah. Oh, well. Okay, whatever. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> That's my personality, guys. That's all you need to know. <laughs> whatever you say. He also sexualized her quite a bit. To a point of where one time he literally listed her breast size when giving a description of her. Why? They were double D's, of course. Because why wouldn't they? So, yeah. Very obvious fetish integration on a D&D &D server full of minors. I started to get more and more suspicious of his behaviour towards women in character and out of character. And it spiralled during the PMs of female characters, played by a past friend of mine. She was talking to Fleurd a flirt. Flirt. About how I can't take that thing <laughs> seriously at all. She was talking to Fleur about how she was continuously raped as a child. And the first out of character comment he made about the reveal was essentially, Oh, she's not a virgin? Oh, sweet Oh Jesus. well, Nicolette can fix that. For context, he associated a broken hymen with losing your virginity. So he believed if you regenerated the spell, your hymen that it would be restoring it. Weird as fuck, I know. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh. Uh, yeah, I suppose. <laughs> oh, fuck, I don't know. After That's... that, I had a bit of an idea. I winded up leaving the server at the time due to many reasons I'd rather not say here. Keep in mind, though, he was partly the reason. And even though I left, I still cared about the server and I was legitimately afraid of hard at that point. I wanted to make sure he wasn't being predatory with any girls on the server, especially underage ones. He was already pretty sexual with a minor already. One of my other friends. He was a guy and clearly uncomfortable with the interaction, but Hard was still persistent. When a seemingly normal conversation delved into some sort of odd fantasy of his, of my friend being a boss of some company and getting his dick sucked under a desk, <sighs> ugh, though I didn't hear about this until a bit after. So I had a plan. To make sure that if he is being predatory, his ass will get booted off the server. Honestly, I'm not shocked he's already kicked off the server by this it stage. It should have been fucking you. He should have got the yeet. A long time ago. <laughs> yeah, be honest with you. I posed as a 16-year-old girl from Nevada by the name of Emily. My character was an Asimar that looked like a half-elf, as I knew his type by then to be elvish, due to one of Fleur's magical items being magical angel wings that sprouted out during roleplay when he wanted to act like the epitome of goodness and compassion. I knew he had a fixation for Angel. I named her Ella, and she was essentially a cheery and excitable bimbo cheerleader stereotype who liked to garden and sing. Basically Hard's dream girl from what I've seen. She was a divine soul sorcerer slash bard mix. I made Emily's personality similar to Ella's, even being a cheerleader IRL herself. I made absolutely sure that no one knew I was pretending to be her, not even my friends. I even swapped the time zones on my phone to replicate Nevada when I sent evidence to the admin. Only my boyfriend knew, and he left the server with me. I changed my typing style to be grammatically pristine and used my emoji button like there's no tomorrow. I was fucking ready, no matter how long it took, to make sure this guy wasn't harming little girls. Honestly, that's really hard to type differently. Yeah. Like, see if someone knows your writing it style. It is me. actually, that is, that is quite a skill. Plus, I can't fucking spell. <laughs> so, yeah. He took the bait immediately after I posted my reference for her. He exclaimed Ella to be so fucking hot after seeing her reference photo, leaving the little hard eyes emoji reaction below it. I was legitimately surprised he took it so quickly and took it hard. After a brief run-in with him, my character left because I was getting bored and he was clearly busy. He PM me, 
expressing his disappointment about not being able to talk to her. And so they cannot be friendos. What? A clear flirt, despite the fact the flirt at the time was engaged. The very first message. And he already tried to joke flirt about our characters. I responded, obviously not feeding his advances, to see if he'll proceed further. And he did. With highlights such as... Ooh, private sick, combo why? with flirt. Haha, <laughs> well so... A beautiful cheerleader who is nerdy for D&D and is super smart in classes. Sounds pretty perfect, lol. And, ah, nice. Good dreams? Bet I could guess what you were dreaming about, wink emoji. <laughs> I feel like the person on Datelight NBC. Like, yeah, I do. <laughs> yes. You know, like, it's Chris. It's like, you said this. It's <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's exactly what it is. But, like, seriously, like, I, you know, sometimes when you come across this, it's like, is this entrapment? But then again, you think the guy wouldn't be talking to like it, you. Just don't talk to children like it's this. Diff- you just don't. It's different if it's entrapment if they go out of their way and talk to them first. Yeah, but if a, if like the trap goes out and talks to them first. Yeah. But if it's them actually talk going out of their way to find and talk to an underage girl or a boy. Yeah. That's when it gets fucked up. Yeah, definitely. So it's not it, it, no, I would. Yeah. For it, if you're looking for a conversation like that. I know the way I view it is like just don't talk to fucking children. You know yeah, I mean? just, just, I, just, don't. just don't. Just fucking don't. You know what I mean? Like seriously, catch yourself on what you're doing. I know. He used the wink emoji a lot during our conversations, by the way. At least ten times. And we didn't talk that often. One of my personal favourites was when I was talking about how Ella basically turned her room into a greenhouse. I was listing off the various flowers she had in there. He responded with, jokingly speaking, If she is in a tiny garden, would she be the primrose too precious to deflower, pluck from the garden of beauty? I bet Eve would be jealous Adam picked someone else. Oh well. That's oh disgusting. God, please stop it. That's actually gross. Actually vile. Actually okay. sort your of life out, would you? This made me personally realise how much hard took this bait. He didn't just swallow the worm, not even the hook. He swallowed the whole damn fishing line. Of course this was only towards my character, but I knew that if he was charmed by Ella that easily, Emily wouldn't be much of an exception. <sighs> you know the thing is, right? I reckon he's probably been trying this with tons of other girls on the server, right? But all of them just think he's a big creep and they're just like, no, fuck yeah. off. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know, fine, like, they, and it's just like, it's like, yeah. you know what I mean? It's like, Jesus Christ, sort yourself out, would you? Thank God that, you know, nowadays that kids are a wee bit more self-aware on the internet. Yeah, that is true. That is true. That is a lot Or nicer. whenever we were younger, it was like the wild west of the fucking internet <laughs> and like, nobody knew anything. Yeah, also, see Omegle. And Omegle was mad back then. Yeah, nobody knew anything and people believed what people said on the internet. <laughs> and that's yeah. what it was back then. Back in like 2003, four. Three, four, five. Three, four, five, yeah, yeah. Um, but now, at least, you know, like, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 year olds, they're a wee bit more yeah, aware of what's no, on the internet do. nowadays. And I think because most of their parents are probably our age or older, you know, they have the resources to be able to, like, no. Yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah, Where our parents didn't have a clue what we were doing. You don't know what the internet is. Yeah. You know what I mean? You've got no idea. Yeah. I gave him my first sign I was a minor, claiming I was in school so my responses would be sparse. Of course, in online classes due to the pandemic. This did not stop his flirting, as he responded to this reveal by saying, Ah, I see. Ha <laughs> ha. Good girl for being a good student. Don't let me distract you too much. Wink emoji. Which really rubbed me the wrong way. Big time. I revealed my grade a bit afterwards, alongside my age. Now the reason I picked Nevada was one thing and one thing only. The legal age there is 16. Of course that doesn't mean his flirting is any less creepy. And that doesn't mitigate the age of consent laws over Discord and the internet in general, which is 18. However, I had a feeling that the consent laws for Nevada, which I did state were a thing as Emily, would prevent him from being scared away. And oh boy, it didn't. In fact, it seemed like it made him even more enticed. I talked more about my life, which was of course fabricated to hell and back. He wanted to VC, but I gave the excuse that I was mute in case he would recognise my voice if I spoke out. He started to get extremely simpy, even more so than what he did with that flower comment. He exclaimed about how smart I was, and I asked why. He went on an entire psychoanalytical rant regarding my proper grammar and how I played my character to be purposely sociable. 
Which, I mean, he did get pretty right on the nose. I made Ella an everybody's friend character, a beacon of positive energy as a means of being able to attract his character in towards me. In the end, he exclaimed, or too long didn't read. I can just Sherlock Holmes the crap out of you, and I can just tell. Oh, I don't want to lose type of fellas, Jesus Christ. With yet another winky emoji. This man used more winky emoji, <laughs> isn't... <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, winky emojis are the biggest cringe. <laughs> yeah, There's so much cringe in them. This man used more winky emojis in those few days, more than I have ever used in my life. I find that pretty funny, considering how I was pretending to be someone else the entire time. Either way, the next day passed, and we talked a bit more. He gave more information about himself, saying he was 22 years old. Oh, fuck. Nah, no, uh, no, just no. Just no, don't. No, that's what are you creepy doing? as fuck. That's just really don't. Creepy. You know what I always, like, what, what do you even have in common with, like, a 50? Like, imagine being 22. What, how do you even, can you even have, like, a good, decent conversation? Like, yeah, you can talk to them, but, like, can you have, like, a, a good conversation? Like, it's, I don't think, it's, it's, it doesn't, you can't even go, you have a good, the, the age difference, you know, it's, you yeah, don't even. It's just know. fucking creepy. Yeah, it is, to be honest with you, no. It's creepy, I remember whenever I was younger, I was, like, 14, 15. Yeah, but you, you got the same age as what you did. Well, but whenever I was like 14, 15, there was always those type of guys who were like 20, in their early 20s. And even when you were at McDonald's, like they would have come up to you and be like, hey, can I have your number? It's like, no, you fucking can't, you creep. Yo, yeah, do you want to, do you want to, do you want to take the item Corsa? Oh, God, fucking Corsa. <laughs> I know, it's always. My, and it's my blue Corsa or my yellow no, it, Corsa. No, the, oh, no, the blue or red. Or black. Yeah, black's very common. Mm-hmm. You guys probably don't understand, but course, yeah, it, it, like everyone, like, every like twenty-year-old creep over here drives a Corsa. Twenty-year-old creepy has a fourteen-year-old girlfriend drives a Corsa. Yeah, that's a fact. Okay, just, guys, you can just pull up a fucking picture of the Corsa. Yeah, I'll just pull a picture and show you guys. But like, that's enough for that. Let's get back. And then the fourteen-year-old's always like, "Yeah, my boyfriend drives a Corsa. What is just eight twenty-nine? <laughs> <laughs> okay, <sighs> uh, no, just no. Okay, so back to the story. He was saying he was twenty-two years old and training to be a pharmacist yet still considered himself a doctor despite not having a PhD yet. I talked about being in Nevada, my school life, being a cheerleader, and how I also wanted to go into the medical field. He mentioned how a sexy nurse costume or sexy scrubs would be a nice look for Halloween. Keep in mind, he knew I was 16. He showed pictures of his pet, which was about the only thing truly wholesome about our conversations with each other. The cat was actually really cute and I still smile at the photos of it from time to time. At least he's not a cat hater. After some time, I had to take a shower. This gave me the idea to bait him one last time, by, of course, saying that I'm taking a shower. And dear lord, did he just swallow the fishing line with that. He swallowed the boat. (laughs) Oh, Jesus. He said, Oh, don't tease me like that, baby. Baby. (laughs) Baby. With another goddamn wink emoji. I knew this man for five days, and he already expressed signs of grooming from the constant overcomplicating and sexual references, constant and direct sexual flirting, very simp-like behaviour both towards Ella and Emily, had a flag so red it could pierce through the rosiest glasses fucking imaginable. Keep in mind, not only have y'all not seen it all because again, I'd be here all day, I didn't even flirt with him back. I constantly switched topics, ignored his flirtatious behaviour, and tried to be this obvious little girl that didn't know shit. The only thing I did that reassured him was state that being despite 16, I, Emily, was still considered a legal adult in Nevada, not even on Discord, or the internet in general, in Nevada. Maybe, just maybe, you could consider the time I referenced sex once as flirting, maybe, but even then that nowhere near justifies the gross behaviour he exemplified towards a kid. This was the last straw. At that point, I was legitimately stunned. Not just surprised. I was scared. Paranoid. It was hard to sleep that night. If he said all this to a non-existent girl over the course of five days, what about real little girls who were legitimately oblivious to his advances and would have stayed in contact with him for longer? For weeks? Months? Years? I had to tell the admin. After giving them the evidence, it literally took them minutes to decide to ban him. Yeah, that boy's out the door. There's no way you can Uh keep something like that about. When otherwise, he could have stayed there for many months longer. 
preying on the miners on the server and manipulating them into doing awful things. And God, I hope, I pray that when I told him off for doing this, still pretending to be Emily one last time, that he had his lesson. If not, then he might be grooming girls to this day. I don't want to give away his Discord tag in case he did learn his lesson, but please, if you see creepy behaviour, don't be afraid to call them out on it. Let others know. We can't let people like him get away with shit like this. And hard, if you're reading this. Take the words I've said and use it to better yourself. Don't play the victim card. Your behaviour can legitimately traumatise little girls and can land you in jail. Plus, if you're planning on being in the medical field, they're very unforgiving towards creepy individuals, especially those who have paedophile-like behaviour. If you are miraculously not a paedophile, go to therapy and stop being a dick. <laughs> I think more people need to hear that, be honest yeah. with you. TLDR. I was suspicious this player on a West March had predatory intentions, pretended to be a little girl to bait him, and my suspicions were proven justified. By a lot. Well, I must say, that one, it wasn't really, like... <laughs> Okay, it was set. It was it was set in a, like it, okay. It was in a West March server. And if any of you guys don't know, West March servers are full of drama. Like full, eh, full of, of drama. drama. Everyone because there's want so to. many people on the server. Yeah, everybody has their own little thing going on. Yeah, and there's little clicks. Yeah, of course it is. Um, our one isn't too bad now. No, it's our not that our bad. one's stabilized. So if you're interested in joining our one, that doesn't have any pedos. Uh, definitely yeah, check that doesn't out. Doesn't have any pedos. Uh, you know, honestly, but like, yeah, no, that type of stuff's just bizarre to me. I yeah. just can't. Like, what, what's wrong with people? You, you really have to ask the question, like, what are you doing? Sort your life out. You know what I mean? There's two types of people who should be thrown in acid <laughs> and yeah. then fucked into a bag of salt. Yeah. And that's, that's pedophiles and animal abuse. Yeah, I'd be, yeah, they're the only two that I don't really like very much against, you know? And that they're, like, I, I, ju I just don't, I just, I, I just don't get people who do that sort of stuff i just don't get it yeah the, pe the it's a pity that they couldn't report him properly the best they could do is go, like get him muted off the server i know because everybody has their identity and yeah stuff, so you can't really actually be honest with you he would have got the yeet a long time ago one of the dms should have spoken to him about just just he would have got the yeet the first thing we would have that we seen if it was on our yeah server. if it was on our one it would have been like like me to tie hat <laughs> Out to fuck, you know what I mean? Enough of that. Like, can you can you actually just stop? You know, We've just... yeeted people for way less. <laughs> oh yeah, people have been yeeted. Yeah, people have been yeeted for a lot less. But it's not like we're bad with a bad hammer. No. Like you know, it's just like, come on here, guys. You know what I mean? But like, if you're interested in joining the Westmark server, check our one out down below. You need to fill in the character sheet before you, you actually want to, to be in join. A good Westmark server. Uh, I won't. I won't say it's good, but I'll say it's a Westmark well, server West that doesn't Mark. have this type of behavior on it. Uh, yeah. It's okay. It's not bad. Definitely come ahead, check it out. Um, we're also very close to the hundred thousand mark, so if you're interested in subscribing, that'll be really cool. Yeah. Um, and I, th I think that's it. Yeah, but I think we've gone for enough. this video. This was Chris Hansen on Dateline NPC. Thanks for watching. All those moments will be lost in time. Like.